My name is Nicola Anthony. I'm a contemporary artist. I think for me, when I'm working on an artwork, I always feel like I'm also learning a lot. I'm getting to know about that person. And if the artwork can do that for other people, then that would be really my intention. The text that we're using for this piece is my father's testimony in the mid-1990s done by the Shoah Foundation. I think that combining his testimony with a piece of art will make people inquisitive and maybe want to view the whole testimony or view more of the testimony, view other testimonies and have an understanding of why it's not just a piece of art hanging in the entry of the offices. It has a whole meaning and a purpose behind it. I was really struck with how matter-of-fact he was in his actual speaking about it and how he alluded to some things but he didn't really go into detail and I could see that there was a lot under the surface as well. Sometimes I, 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 I couldn't forgive myself, this is why, uh, that I was maybe better off uh, not surviving, uh, go with my family. Or maybe some as are thinking, if I would have stayed with my family, maybe they would have survived too. I first saw Nicholas work in an art museum and realized that words can be art, not just what they mean at face value. It's quite a long process. It begins with just working with the text, working at how the text will flow and hang, even the, the logistics of the weight of it, how it loops around, the gravity. After that, I came here and I worked on the ground with fabricators. From that stage, once I've got the text cut into the steel, I can begin myself to sculpt it, to change the shape, to weld it, and to actually install it in the space. Using words in my artwork is, for me, a way of abstracting that story and that testimony. So there's a balance between, on the one hand, you have got his exact account, his exact words, so you can really understand what he's gone through and what he was saying. But at the same time, it's more of an abstract shape, it's kind of tangled, and I think it gives him the chance to really have his own voice through the sculpture. It was hard to take specific sentences from a several hour testimony and decide which ones were the most important. So by coming in today and seeing them in print makes me feel that I picked the right sentences, they represent the whole story. It's like I can hear my father's voice when I'm reading them. I'm hoping and assuming that for years to come these words will have significance to others and be transferable as not only a testimony but a piece of art that has purpose and meaning and can be applied to the world and humanity.